And don't forget, Genius TV also offers flat rate on-site Final Cut Pro training. Let's start with tackling part of the event browser. The event browser is an area that contains content in the form of clips. Clips are pointers and they reference physical media on a hard disk. The clips are organized into events. These events are found in the event library. The event library can be hidden or brought forward by clicking on this slide arrow. You can think of an event as a physical job. Okay, you can see I've got four events going here. Each event contains specific clips related to that event. By clicking on an event, you will see the clips that belong to that event off to the right in the event browser area. It's important to note that these events always reference content and media on a hard disk inside a folder called Final Cut Events. However, don't worry, we'll cover the specifics of managing your media in a later lesson. By default, events are organized by each hard disk connected and the date created. What's amazing is Final Cut Pro 10 understands special metadata embedded within your clips and automatically detects the date range of when your clips were captured within a specific event. Now, if you're in an environment where you are working on many projects throughout the year, this may be a good way of keeping your events organized. You will be able to see what media was recorded during a specific time frame. However, if you're only working on a few projects, you may choose to organize your events differently. This gear icon allows you to change how your events are organized. This icon is officially called the Action Pop-Up Menu, in case you need to refer to it within the Final Cut Pro 10 user manual. You'll notice how you can uncheck the options for grouping your events by disk and whether or not to show date ranges. Now, if you don't want your events grouped by the date, you'll need to go to this sub-menu to select Don't Group Events by Date. Okay, back to the Action pop-up menu. If you look below this dividing line, you can tell Final Cut Pro 10 how to sort your clips within a highlighted event. You'll notice there are all sorts of choices here on how to group your clips, including an ascending or descending option. So, for example, on a large project, you may have hundreds or even thousands of clips. You can tell Final Cut to group your clips by their duration. Now granted, your clips probably all have different durations, so Final Cut Pro tries to make sense of it all and divide your clips into sensible folders representing various lengths. And of course, you can sort your groups by ascending or descending order. Okay, you can also arrange the individual clips inside or outside of a group. To avoid confusion here, let me tell Final Cut Pro to ignore groups. So, same idea here. I can sort my clips in a variety of ways. If you choose Sort by Name, the ascending option will sort your clips alphabetically. Okay, now remember this slide arrow. Because once you are working with media from a particular event, you may not need media from other events to complete your project. In any event, no pun intended, if you need media from a different job, just click on the slide arrow and you will have access to all your media content in one handy place.